teach me. Um, I just thank God uh, for my life. I thank God for my husband. I thank God for my family. I just thank God for all for all things. And I truly, I'm truly blessed to be surrounded by people that that loves me, that care for me, that Amen. care for our family. And I'm I, I'm just. I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful on, on, on today. And there's nothing else that I, I can say, but I am grateful. And I'm just thankful for everything. Uh, my husband and I, we had talked about uh, renewing our vows for 25 years. And he done more talking, and I said, yeah, 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 yeah. He done more talking, and I said, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, you know, I didn't ever think that this was happening today. And, you know, I just like to just tell my husband today that I, I do love you. Oh, you know, I love you with all my heart. That's so all right, I, just, I just thank God for you, and I just know that we're going to have many, many, many more years. That's to all right. Thank God. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, you know, the Lord today is way back in. You know, I'm way back in. Amen, amen, amen. You know, I'm going to tell you something about a preacher. Somebody walk with God. I knew something wasn't right, and I just couldn't put it together. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mic now. Amen. But one of the group leaders today, I tricked my sister, and I'm kind of thinking something went right. And the group leader come up to me today and said, Boy, guy, you, you know you got to be gone. I said, No, nah, man, I'm working for you're not working at four o'clock. <laughs> and I'm coming home and I'm thinking, I says, Now, why is this man rushing me out of his plane today? Normally begging people to stay. <laughs> That's why y'all here today. Y'all set me up. <laughs> That's all good. It's all good. But I thank God on today. And I thank God on today. And I do thank God for my wife. Amen. She and I, we have been through a lot of things together in our 25 years. And haven't always been peaches and ice cream. All right. Oh, come on, married folks. Y'all know y'all have some nice too, husband. You refuse to let your wife touch your leg when you sleep. Am I right about it? Yeah. I'm all quiet, but y'all know it's right. Now. And you'll miss some times, amen. You know, you walk around the house, spouses, when you didn't communicate, amen. That's not a good thing because when you get to know Jesus, amen, you know not to do those type of things, amen. amen. But I do love my wife on today, and I tell you, I couldn't have found a better woman than that. Right. Better had, amen. amen. Right. But it takes me back to 1987 when trying to build a jiggle over my dripping jerry curl. <laughs> My little rang in my ear. Thought I really had it going on. Yeah. Hey, Amen. But now you can look at Jericho and mess me up. <laughs> hey, Amen. But you know, I was up on the hill trying to be a jiggle But this woman was wise. Her mom and dad ran so right. Amen. And one day she told me, I'm going to tip her at nighttime and ride the other girls during the day. Mm. She said, I'm going to tell the truth. She said, Robert, when you make up your mind, you want to do right. If I have not found someone else, you can come back. <laughs> She left that if right there, like when God said, if I'm for you. She said, Robert, if I have not found someone, you make them come back. When I go to the house, I said, I left my records over She said, okay, you do records. When I had a ball cap, I said, come back next. I said, come and get my ball cap. She said, I tell you what, nigga, whatever you got over here, you get it right now. If I told you, don't come back. Well, that weekend, I'm up with a neighbor selling ice cream. I thought I could ease back over there and get my ice cream cone. I got my ice cream cone. She said, now you got your ice cream cone. Now you need to leave. But she was firm. Amen. Amen. Men today, we need to find those type of women that stand for something. I'm going to tell you today, women, you stay in the bedroom and give that man your money. It's going to hold on to you. But I'm stopping to tell you. That's a lie. The truth is not in you. Men, we need some real women on today. Amen. Oh, this thing tight, but it's right. I'm not preaching. But I'm I thank God for my wife on today. Right. You know, I had a child before we got married. And she raised my daughter like it was her very own. I got custody of my daughter when she was seven years old. And my wife raised my daughter how to be a young lady. Amen? Amen. She accepted my daughter into her house. And my daughter often said, my wife, I like, really like a biological mother to her. She raised her. Stand up, my man. I want everybody to see my grandchildren. I got three grandchildren. Come on, come on. Well, my two grandchildren are shot right beside their mother right there. And the one sitting up against the wall, we have the very same birthday, March 11th. He acts like me, he thinks like me. Amen. You know, sometimes his mother tells me things he does. He acts just like me. 
He and our real type of people like is you might think you're making a dumb of us, but we listen to what you're saying. And we're calculating that thing. He just like me. Amen. Verse, verse. Hi, son. <laughs> Amen. But I thank all of you for coming out today. And I'd like to thank all the pastors and the preachers and my brother and my sisters and my niece and nephew and my pastor, Bishop Carl Great Man McCullough. Hey. And I hand down the class over there. My pastor, my leader. A man who will stand for something. Amen.